When you think of transportation, you probably think of your personal trips via car, air, or rail. But it's likely that you don't think about how products are transported to your store. So let's take a journey through the global supply chain, and you'll see how CBRE adds value to each leg of the trip. Our journey begins at the manufacturing plant, where the product is developed. We use hundreds of products in our everyday life, and each one and their components travel through this global supply chain. The final product is packaged and then bundled with other similar products to prepare for shipping. Keep in mind that these products vary in size, from a microchip to a front end loader. The next step is the crate's arrival at a distribution facility, where it is offloaded and stacked with similar products. Depending on the timing of the order, the product may hold at this facility for a short period or be immediately loaded onto another truck ready for travel. You'll notice that along each step of the journey, each truck is full, maximizing the economies of the shipping process. Waste in the supply chain is generated when we have gaps, or LTLs, less than full loads. Our crate, packed tightly in the trailer, now travels from the distribution facility to an intermodal facility, where the entire trailer is offloaded by a crane and placed on a train for cross-country travel. As you can see, the length of the train may sometimes run for miles, generating incredible economies of scale due to the amount of goods shipped simultaneously. As our train makes its way across the country, let's see how many people have touched our product. We have the manufacturer and its logistics group loading the truck. We have the truck headed from the manufacturing team to the first waypoint or distribution facility. We've offloaded the crate into that facility and repacked it into another trailer. We've taken that trailer to the intermodal facility and loaded it onto the train. Can you see how we add costs along the way? Returning to our journey, the train travels across the country and ultimately arrives at its destination in the Pacific Northwest. At the intermodal or transload facility, the entire trailer is once again removed from the train and placed on another tractor trailer. From here, the trailer is driven to another distribution warehouse within close proximity to the intermodal facility. All of the products must be removed at this distribution warehouse and prepared for shipping based on individual orders. Once the trailer arrives at the facility, it is completely offloaded and the product once again is either floor stacked or placed on a rack Depending on the timing of an order, products may sit in a sorting facility for hours, days, or even sometimes months. From here, the product awaits final assembly of the order and ships to the end user. Once that order comes in, the product is loaded into a smaller box truck for easier loading and unloading. Our journey is almost over. We've scaled down the size of each shipment and have completed a full customer order. After a complicated journey, our product has finally reached the customer.